They're some of the most elusive and explosive signals ever detected in space, and while they last for mere milliseconds, they generate as much energy as 500 million suns, that is a lot of energy. Last year, leading researchers found 16 fast radio bursts all coming from the same source beyond our Milky Way, and now Harvard physicists have proposed that signals like these could be evidence of advanced alien technology and why the hell not as we can't explain any other reason for what they could be caused by. Fast radio bursts are exceedingly bright, given their short duration and origin at great distances and we haven't identified a possible natural source with any confidence, says theoretical physicist Avi Loeb from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. An artificial origin is worth contemplating and checking. It is very important to remember that fast radio bursts, FRB, aren't all that uncommon. Since the first one was detected back in 2007, researchers predict that around 2,000 of these things are lighting up the universe every single day. But still the world's top scientists do not know what is causing these strange events. But the problem with detecting and analyzing these signals is that they're not only incredibly fleeting, sometimes less than 5 milliseconds in duration, they are also frustratingly random in origin and nobody ever truly knows when to expect them. That was until late 2016, when researchers detected what appears to be the first repeating FRB, which was 11 high-energy radio bursts all coming from a single source, way out in the distant unknown universe this gained a lot of interest from the world's top scientists. Just recently, six more FRBs were detected coming from the same location, and researchers managed to pinpoint their location to a faint dwarf galaxy, more than 3 billion light years from Earth. This was a massive development, because until that point, the FRBs we had detected had all come from random origins in space, making follow-up observations impossible could this be confirmation that something controlled is going on out there in great universe? If you wanted to go searching for some more FRBs to better understand them, your hunting ground is literally the size of the entire known universe so it is a massive good luck with that one. Despite finding the first ever repeating FRBs, which are collectively known as FRB 121102, no one has yet been able to provide a convincing explanation for what's causing such immense, powerful outbursts perhaps it is created beyond our wildest dreams and understanding. The leading hypotheses right now are that these signals result from the most volatile and explosive events in the universe supermassive black holes coughing up cosmic material, explosions of superluminous supernovae, or rotating magnetars a type of neutron star that pummels everything around it with intense magnetic fields. However, there are those that believe this is a cover-up and the elite know exactly what is going on out there. But it is important not to forget that this is all just speculation, based on the assumption that such powerful signals would originate from the most powerful events we've ever detected. Now Loeb and his team say that in the absence of an explanation everyone can agree on, we should be looking at some slightly less unnatural sources. We have posited that fast radio bursts are being set up by extra-galactic civilizations to potentially power live sails, they describe in a new paper. If you are not familiar with live sails, the technology is still in its infancy, well at least here on Earth, perhaps not beyond Earth, but this has the potential to revolutionize space exploration with NASA researchers estimating that we could get one to Mars in just three days flat. 
known as photonic propulsion systems, light sails are powered by the momentum of photons, particles of light, which could either be harnessed from the sun's rays, like Bill Nye's light sail, or giant Earth-based lasers, like this NASA proposal. This means that virtually zero fuel would ever be required, and journeys could last as long as the physical parts could literally hold. Remember, that here on Earth this is only as of yet an idea that is currently being put into practice. But beyond this idea just imagine the technology some ET beings may have on us beings with millions of years of advancement on us pretty much prehistoric beings in comparison that depend on fossil fuels still. With that in mind, Loeb and his team investigated the possibility that fast radio bursts were coming from an enormous radio transmitter on a distant alien planet, that beams FRB-like signals across the universe to propel giant light sails. Using data collected by known FRBs, they calculated that if the signals were emitted by an enormous, solar-powered radio transmitter billions of light years away. It would need a planet-sized area to collect enough sunlight to produce signals strong enough for us to detect here on Earth. Perhaps and it is just a big perhaps, but a very feasible idea, the ETs are the cause of these incredible bursts through space. Dot. And it would not just be any kind of planet, it would need to be at least twice the size of Earth. So perhaps even a Dyson Sphere? Please click here to read more on this. Even well-respected top theoretical physicist Michio Kaku believes that these huge me dot in order to prevent all of that light frying the planet and the radio transmitter within seconds, a massive water-based cooling system would be required. And hey! Something like that sounds inconceivable to us humans, but we haven't even figured out cordless charging and hoverboards, so what do we know? The researchers say such a device is well within the laws of physics, so you've got to give them that. Just imagine the knowledge some advanced alien species will have on us out there in the infinite universe. The purpose of building such a colossal device would be twofold not only could it beam signals across vast areas of the universe to other civilizations, like ours. It could also propel probes or spaceships on extended journeys through interstellar space. We envision the beamer that emits the radio waves as a method of launching a light sail, Loeb told George Dvorsky at Gizmodo. In the same way that a sailboat is pushed by wind, a light sail is pushed by light and can reach up to the speed of light. Of course, like the previous explanations for fast radio bursts, this is all highly speculative, and Loeb isn't pretending that they have all the answers in their new proposal. But he says science isn't a matter of what you believe, it's a matter of evidence. And it's always worth throwing a bunch of ideas out there to see where the data fits. Although the possibility that FRBs are produced by extra-galactic civilizations is more speculative than an astrophysical origin, quantifying the requirements necessary for an artificial origin serves, at the very least, the important purpose of enabling astronomers to rule it out with future data, the team concludes.